Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to review and apply for you the two latest new products from Hourglass, the Unlocked Mascara and the Infinity Powder. I'm going also compare them with other Hourglass powders and with the Caution Mascara. Now I know I'm pretty late to the game, but between this video and my next one I will be sharing with you my opinion on the latest, most exciting releases, at least the ones that I think are the most exciting releases of the last couple of weeks, months. So if you are interested in this content, just keep on watching. My name is Marisa and if you already saw one of my videos before, thank you very much for returning. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. In here I talk about everything beauty and lifestyle, especially focusing on the over 40 issues. So if you think that this content might interest you, please consider subscribing. You just need to click on the red subscribe button below as well as on the notification bell. And also please consider following me on Instagram. I publish almost daily beauty, lifestyle and sometimes cat related content. Let's start with the mascara. It comes in the typical gold packaging from Hourglass. And the component is this, golden, feels very luxurious and weighty. It has a plastic thin wand. That tapers through its length and is covered with tiny spikes. It's also slightly bendy. This mascara is retailed in black and this component contains 10 grams of the product which means that for the same price you are actually getting more 0.6 grams of product than with the Caution Mascara. It's produced in the United States, it has a suggested shelf life of 6 months although I do recommend that because it's a mascara, you should definitely use it as quickly as possible to avoid any eye problems. It has a big list of frees, namely that is cruelty free and vegan like all other Hourglass products. Also, 5% of the proceeds from it go to the Non-Human Rights Project, an organization in the US working to secure civil rights from non-human animals. And that is quite nice indeed. It also has a big list of claims, namely that it has a big payoff with just one coat, but that it can be layered with more than one, of course, that it does not smudge flakes or clumps, and it gives immediate length to the eyelashes, separate them and fanning them out. Also, because it's a tubing mascara, it will come off quite easily with just only warm water. Now, I have very poor eyelashes and so naturally I like mascaras that provide both volume and length with just one coat without clamping. And although our glass does not claim that this mascara is volumizing, I thought that with all other claims that it has, it was pretty much up my alley, so I decided to give it a go. And I have to say that it did not disappoint. It's it's very easy to apply and it really coats and separates the eyelashes very well, especially with only one layer.
I find that with two the result is less natural as it was to be expected and that there is more probability for the eyelashes to be stuck together. Because the wand is not very fat, I found that it's easy to use in the bottom eyelashes. It holds well the curl and on me it did not smudge or flake and we are having pretty warm days here in London. It's really easy to remove with water as other tubing mascaras. The product comes off in little black pieces instead of making the area around the eyes black. The only other tubing mascara that I tried was from Ayeko, but I like this one much better. I compared it with the Caution Mascara and yes, the Caution Mascara provides more drama, both length and volume, but I find it a pain to remove. So all in all, I have to say that I'm very pleased with this Unlocked Mascara and I will definitely continue to use it, especially on those non-glam fuss free days, which I confess is about 99.9% .9 of the times. Let's go now for the Infinity Powder. This finishing powder has a new formula for our glass that results from the mixture of two ambient lighting powders with an ambient strobe highlighter through the Italian manual technique of Michelare. So the result is a powder that is more radiant than the standard ambient ones, but still closer to them than to the strobe highlighting powders. It comes in the usual metallic chocolate brown packaging with a nice mirror inside and a good sized pen to put a brush in and swirl. There is only one shade at the moment and our glass indicates that it's suitable for light to medium skin tones. The claims are that uh, this powder provides a natural radiant finish to the skin while simultaneously giving it a soft focus effect. Let's go now to the application of the powders. I'm going to apply from the Hourglass Ghost Palette the powder Diffused Light, which is this lighter one here on my left side. And please forgive me this monster that I have here. I'm testing out skincare products from the Dr. Sam's system and well, either my hormones are going crazy or I'm having a reaction to a product or an ingredient included on the system or my skin is purging. Hopefully it's this last one. Hypothesis, but in the meantime... Oh. I'm going to put this side for you to see. I really like the Hourglass Ambient Finishing Powders. I think they help uh, smoothing out and blurring a little bit the pores and the fine lines. Uh, it's not a setting powder. If you have oily or combination skin, I don't think it works the best to mattify it because it's not totally matte. It has more like a satin finish and also the ingredients that it has are not the strongest oil absorbers. So, but they are very nice powders to finish the skin, as the name says, of course. So now I'm going to apply on my right side the new Infinity Powder. I have already applied it before and I think the shade is a good match for me. I can still see the micro glitters on my skin 
but this mirror that I'm using has a five times magnification capability. I think that looking at normally you have to be very close to see them. I think it does a good job of blurring and smoothing and I really think as well that it's, a it's more radiant than the, the standard finishing powders as it would be expected. So I'm wondering if you can see the difference. Very curious to see the footage. So this is the Infinity Powder. This is the normal. Now I'm going to use a small fan brush and I'm going to apply it as an eyeliner. And it can really be used like this with a heavier application and immediately this area is more shiny. So now, with the powder applied as highlighter, hopefully you can see. So what are my final thoughts on these products? Let's start with the mascara. I really like it and I'm definitely going to continue to use it and most probably I will rebuy it. It's very easy to apply. It, it does what I need on the mascara for the day-to-day -day use. It lengthens my eyelashes, it does not clamp them and it definitely fans them out and separates them very well. And also, oh my god, it's so easy to remove and that does not mean that it goes all over my face or that it flakes because it really does not until now I have had no problems regarding that issue so like it very much will I reach for this one if I have a funnier night out or special occasion no I will reach out for a more dramatic one but for day to day regardless Sorry. Regarding the powder, well, if you like radiant looking skin and you have normal or dry skin, I think this powder will probably be a beautiful choice to help you on that regard if you have a very light skin. Because as you saw on the swatches, this has the same tone that the diffuse light and they are both very, very light powders. So. I would say this is up to a medium skin tone. It's a pity our glass only makes powders that are geared towards lighter skin tones and leaves the more deeper tones aside. Let's hope that with this one they release uh, darker shades. If you are like me, that you have a skin that is an overall texture mess with big pores and combination all over the skin it's not a good idea because it really enhances all the imperfections and all the texture so I will be using this one as an highlighter and for that I think it's a very good choice when applied in very carefully selected points like really really here the top of my cheekbones where I have the least of wrinkles, pores, etc, etc, etc. And for that I think it works beautifully and it makes a beautiful highlighter for even the day-to-day -day use. This is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget about tomorrow's video about my latest luxury makeup buys. Until then, thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye!